One of Denver's great smaller scale museums is Wings Over the Rockies. It's located here on the old Lowry Air Force Base on the east side of Denver. On display, more than four dozen spacecraft and aircraft, and their collection is always growing. And people come here because it's a very unique museum. Within a 1937 uh, aircraft hangar, individuals and volunteers can come here and not only you know, see the aircraft, but get involved and uh, fix what uh, is currently uh, part of our, our, our asset base. But even the daily visitor can experience it very uh, as well. Um, we don't sanction off everything commonly. Every, you can touch the aircraft, you can experience it. It's very interactive for people that come here. Uh, we also have some special features such as uh, uh, the X-Wing fighter. You can get a flavor of new military aircraft uh, as well as spacecraft, our, our, our space exhibit uh, and exhibits to help people experience why Colorado is such a pioneer in uh, space and aerospace in the country and in the world. Do you have what it takes to be a firefighter? The Denver Firefighter Museum is located in historic fire station number one. You can tour various living quarters, you get a chance to see the different trucks, tools and tactics firefighters use throughout history. And they have a children's gallery that offers interactive displays designed to reinforce the importance of fire prevention and safety. We're trying to teach fire safety education alongside retaining the history of the department. Just seeing what it was like years and years ago and even as just 30 years ago, how it has changed. I think that the adults really appreciate the equipment. The kids, the red fire truck that they can climb in, that's the most popular. Back up. The Shelby American Collection Museum here in Boulder has to be one of the lesser known smaller scale museums in the Denver Boulder area. It's all about Shelby American race cars. You've got the Cobra, which was the first car he made. You can also find some Shelby Mustangs here. And of course, a lot more about the man who created all these vehicles, Carroll Shelby. Now, the mission of the Shelby American Collection is to educate the public on what Carroll Shelby did. Uh, the Shelby American Collection is actually kind of the center of the universe for Shelby race cars. Uh, it, it is the largest collection in the world. Uh, most people that come in are very surprised at the quality of the collection. There is a lot of racing history here and also for kids uh, uh, virtually every video game racing has a Cobra in it or a Shelby Mustang. So uh, in a sense those kids have been racing those cars for years and then they get to come in here and actually see the real thing. All aboard to the Forney Transportation Museum. Now you might have remembered they used to be in the Platte Valley, but they moved a couple miles up north. And yes, they moved Big Boy too. The Forney Transportation Museum is bigger and better and constantly changing exhibits. We've had uh, Packards, Hudson, Studebakers. Our current display now is uh, Nash automobiles. And then we've also got a visiting exhibit of uh, very rare vintage motorcycles. This is the only known surviving Denver cable car. And this particular one is from 1888. Well, this particular car in which I'm sitting in the uh, exterior jump seat is a 1923 Kissel Gold Bug that was originally owned by uh, Amelia Earhart. It was her very first car. You can come here and you can learn about transportation history. You can see vehicles that you may have grown up with, bicycles or toy vehicles that you grew up with. So it's, it's sort of a trip down memory lane for the adults and it's a learning experience for the young ones. Here at the University of Denver, one of the great smaller scale museums, one of the best in Denver, it's a museum of anthropology where exhibits are always changing, you can learn about places all over the world, and of course you can learn about how museums come to life. They come in and students are working on an exhibit, they get to see that process. Our collections are specific to this region, um, so yes, that it's a resource especially for people interested in the history and heritage of this part of the country. We have materials in the collections that are very ancient and some relatively modern, say from the 1950s, and then some contemporary. It's a, a teaching museum, not just for our students, but for the public too, that we like to think that it's that kind of resource. 
educational in terms of what people can learn about anthropology and uh, world cultural diversity, but also about what is a museum and what does a museum do. Museo de las Americas offers Latino art and culture from the ancient to the contemporary. This small-scale museum plays a big role in fostering pride in the Latino community. With their interactive tours, outreach workshops, and frequently changing exhibitions, Museo is a valuable learning tool in promoting understanding among cultures. The, the most important function of Museo is for us to allow the, the public to connect with the Latino culture. Uh, Museo de las Americas is like a big hub where people come to get the best of Latino art which right now across the world is extremely welcome. And it's, you know, like they say, the Latino artists are really hot. The Museo de las Americas has something that nobody else can offer, and that is the aesthetic that we provide here and the quality of the programming, whether it's educational or exhibition-wise, and it's, it's amazing. Take a step back in time to the beginning of the 20th century and learn everything about the woman who had an unsinkable spirit, Molly Brown. I think when guests come to visit the Molly Brown House Museum, they really learn her story and how it applies to the nation as a whole at that time. So we have her working intensely with the suffrage movement, with the labor movement, and seeing how she really made a difference within her own time period. You get a really strong sense of what it would have been like to be a guest of Mrs. Brown, so coming and visiting and having tea with her in the parlor, or to be a servant, wearing 10 to 12 pounds of clothing and corsets if you were a maid. The myth of Molly Brown and the reality of Margaret Tobin Brown are just so far apart and she just accomplished so much more than most people ever realize. She really did um, play an important role in Colorado's history and the nation's history. Another great small scale museum, the Leaning Tree. It's a hidden gem here in Boulder, Colorado and it pays tribute to the cowboy way of life. The American West was a unique time in American history and it was a vibrant, vital period in our history, suffused with energy and passion. When they come to Lean and Tree, people are surrounded by the heritage of the American West. Here in the museum, so many of our artists painted the West as it actually was. It's all here, it's all very real, and presented in a beautiful artistic form. We hope they take away two things, an increased appreciation for the American West and our great heritage, but also an appreciation for the quality of the artwork, the quality of artists painting and sculpting during this period in American history, we believe will be recognized in the decades and centuries to come as one of the pinnacles of American art.